And welcome back to another episode of All of Fabric 6. And uh, last episode, we built this thing. It's looking quite majestic in the sunset, uh, which does mean we're going to have to sleep. But today, today, there's going to be a couple of things we're working on. One, thought of man gathering all of the copper for the roof much easier if we'd done it last episode. Uh, is going to be getting into just a little bit of modern industrialization. Uh, not as much as we did in all of Fabric 5, where we kind of made it all the way through the quests, and that was kind of the end of the series. Uh, we're just going to be doing a little bit. We're going to get the steam mining drill. Um, I mean, we've got the coal, we'll get the compressor, we'll get some bronze, and we'll just get some steam machines so that we can ore hemi-quadruple. And we'll just process ores with, with our with steam for a while um, and I think that'll be enough. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is because this is a farmhouse um, I want to put some farmland around the outside. Um, we, should, we, should, we should sleep. We should sleep. Uh, the bedroom is up here. I still get lost in here. It's pretty large. And I've left all the doors open and this, I like this. It's, it's a nice little, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that really is. But yeah. We're going to plant a bunch of seeds uh, and make some fields outside. Uh, that's not the seed chest. That's the seed chest. Uh, so we'll take it pretty slow for a start. I think by getting some wheat fields, uh, maybe getting some, I guess, carrots would be good. Potatoes would be good. And uh, we don't need beetroot. Oh. It would be kind of nice to have all the vanilla ones for a start. Um, we could make the market, which I kind of looked at last episode before I went on a big adventure to find saplings. Uh, I just didn't have a lot of emeralds, but I think I find the chest where stuff is. Now uh, we got five emeralds, so we might actually be able to get beetroot seeds from the market. Might make one of them. Might make one of them. Or maybe we go out and find the block, uh, find the find the seeds in the wild. That could be cool too. Uh, yeah, so we'll start with probably those crops. I think also onions could be nice. And that's already going to be four fields. I don't want to do too much all at once. And uh, maybe we'll save the bone for once we get the, the steam machine set up. Uh, so we're going to be clearing, clearing some forest. Uh, probably picking up some seeds that we get from breaking grass. Uh, maybe I'll want to tidy up the terrain a little bit. Uh, and I'll get rid of this. This can go. This was just our temporary starting farm. But I kind of want to get some get some fields and then over time we will expand them. Um, and actually I should put that on shapeless so we don't end up breaking lots of blocks unintentionally. Uh, yeah, I think some fields. Let's get some fields. I think it could start to make this area look a bit better than just a house plonked. Uh, in the middle of the grass. I really wish I could fly, but I guess we got replay mod, so we can <laughs> we can look at it uh, from above uh, with replay mod. Hey. And we've got our first couple of crops and some uh, a bit of terraforming, which yeah we can hear that um, it's a little bit hollow under there, so we might have to chuck some torches down there to stop mobs spawning. But uh, yeah, so ideally this would be filled with crops, but I ran out of seeds and I don't have a lot of bone meal just yet. So over time, we'll <laughs> this is going to be a big wheat field. This is going to be a potato field, and then um, as we progress, um, we will keep expanding and introduce more fields with different crops. Because I think that's going to be kind of cool, to just slowly expand this farm area. But speaking of expanding, something we were desperately missing uh, with the construction of the farmhouse was ore doubling. Ore doubling. So we're going to get into a little bit of modern industrialization. Um, yes, yeah, so I've been playing around in creative again and have come up with a design for a 
bam that we're going to check here. Uh, but of course, as usual, well, as, as I did with this, I've used some materials that we don't actually have. Um, so we need to go and find uh, Cypress. Yep, I'm assuming it's this thing. Um, I also want some pine. We want some jungle. Uh, we want some acacia. And I think, I think that was it. I think that was all I needed, um, which is a bit. Now, I was looking at constructing a market, uh, which m probably will be the way to go. Uh, we should be able to get probably all of these saplings without having to travel at all. Uh, but I think emeralds are going to be the, the limiting factor here. We've got five. Um, I don't know if it tells us how much the market costs. I don't think it does. Uh, so we'll whip one of these up. And if they're cheap, we'll just grab them and then we'll move on to this. Otherwise, uh, off on an adventure. Right, and as for where we're going to put this thing... I only grabbed one plank that would do it. Uh, it does spawn like a villager trading dude. So uh, probably, I mean, I'm not using this room for anything. No. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> I guess kind of, does it go this way? No, 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 I want you on the other side. You can live in the closet. There you go, mate. You'll be perfectly safe in there. Um, probably going to be a little bit annoying having a name tag, but that's fine. It's fine. So, uh, Acacia, one emerald. Okay, like I think we're going to be fine. Um, as much as adventuring is cool, this is probably uh, a tad more efficient. Um, and I bet you can even get, you can get white oak, you can get white mangrove. Yeah, we probably should have done this to begin with, but um, it was cool. It was cool uh, traveling around the world a bit. Hopefully we can jump upstairs and chuck them all in these things. Like, okay, shit, that should be fine. Um, I guess we will. I can sort all this wood. Uh, jungle, that should be fine. Oh, nice. Cypress is cool. And pine is fine as well. Nice. I'll clear out these chests of all this stuff. Um, still haven't got any saplings. It might have been something I set up wrong doing the recipe for this. Uh, I did see in the newest uh, Olaf Fabric 6 update, uh, white oak saplings now work in a, in a botany pot. Which is neat. Which is neat. So you won't have to muck around doing that. I didn't see... Uh, white mangrove getting added, but it might have been. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't look too closely. Um, this wood is not going to fit in here. All right. We probably have too many logs, but uh, not going to complain. Sweet. So, uh, with those logs building up upstairs, our crops are starting to grow. We can actually... Um, okay, I need to put an actual entrance into these. I hadn't, hadn't uh, thought of that. Uh, oh, you didn't even give me double seeds. I'm going to start spreading these around a little bit, but I think it's time to get into that modern industrialization to get some ore doubling, which is going to make a lot of stuff easier in the future. Uh, especially if we're building with more copper and all oh, the roof has started to oxidize. I just broke a crop. I just broke a crop. I see a little bit of oxidization, so that's neat. <laughs> that's neat. But okay, if we're going to get into some modern industrialization, we probably want to start with a forge hammer, which is actually cheap. I thought that used to be... I think that recipe might have been changed a little bit. All right, we can get ourselves the forge hammer. Is this a forge mod? No, actually it's, it's not. Um, so, yeah, have a barn to build over there, 
not building it yet so for now this stuff's gonna live here uh, and inside this we can start creating iron plates uh, and we're gonna need five of these no we're gonna need a bunch two four six eight ten and we're gonna need 20 which is gonna be ooh, 40 ingots that's a lot and that's actually a decent amount because if we check this in here this actually only gets us one all right all right we got a bit of iron um we'll get it processing we're getting close to being able to double it and wait can we double it in this not without a hammer okay and with a bit of processing later this should be no one need... wait yes 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 everything we need everything we need for the iron hammer and i actually haven't been following the quests which is probably a good idea because there might be quest rewards we get an iron hammer I think I did this last time I went I played through all of Fabric 5. I think that's the same quest reward, but that's okay because these wear out, so that's not too bad. Um steam mining drill, yes, would be handy, and we can now, however. Quadruple no, because I think it's three ores, so it gives you slightly more. Still better than nothing. Um but if we're gonna be getting into this bronze stuff, for a start we need the boiler. Um, we're going to need bronze itself, and then this is kind of just, yep, you can use the hammer and stuff to make all of this. Uh, fire clay from memory, brick dust and clay, so basically clay. I'll go gather some of that. Uh, as for bronze, I believe we just make it out of the dust, right? And it's just copper dust and tin dust, which hopefully I've got some copper left over. Um, yes, and I think I found a bit of tin, nice, again, we kind of want to be a little bit, oh, I mean, let's just do a stack, so a stack of that, that's actually most of the tin, um, get a stack of this, it's going to be, you know, we'll get more value for money, uh, or bang for your buck, whatever, uh, once we have all the actual ore processing machines but there we go that's 60 bronze let's get all of this fired up uh and then just a bit of clay which actually i don't think i have much clay now uh, i'll just go gather some of that that's not particularly exciting that's the closet i keep going to go into the store and it's just that dude Okay, we should be getting kind of close, I think, to getting some of the stuff. So, that's those three bricks. Almost steam, definitely almost steam. Uh, we'll grab a couple more plates, and I think, there we go, a bronze boiler. You're going to live here for now. Uh, so that one's done. Next thing we probably want is the macerator. Um, now I do have a couple of diamonds, the only two that I have. Uh, we actually need to smelt up some copper. Um, we will try and get our money's worth. Uh, already burned through a hammer, so not lasting super long. We're going to need a little bit of this. Um, yeah, we've kind of got the stuff processing, made sure to get a bunch of iron going, uh, because we're probably going to need to make another iron hammer, which, five, that I think is the required number of iron plates, yeah, so that was close, we actually almost burned through that one, um, I might chuck it, I guess down here, um, we'll, eventually get an enchanting setup kind of going 
Uh, I would really like to get the steam drill. That is not the steam drill. The steam drill. Uh, but that's going to require more diamonds. Um, and a whole bunch of copper. And yeah, all the stuff that's going to be much handier once we've got these machines. Now, we do have a few quests to grab. So I might grab them. Because um, these modern industrialization common loot bags, I don't know what they have in them. But it could be pretty useful. Let's just... So we can see what we get. Right. Resistors. Bit of iron ore. And inductors. We don't need these right now. <laughs> it's very much a future thing. Uh, the iron ore is kind of cool though. And we just need... Uh, three copper gears, which is a whole bunch of copper plates and stuff. All right. Let's do this. So we're actually going to immediately need to craft a replacement hammer. Because you kind of burn through these pretty quick. And we want... So we want three of these. So that's some of them. I think just three lots of that and two lots of that should be the gears we need um, it's the three copper gears then we just short all oh, the fluid pipes I hadn't considered them yeah uh, I'll quickly whip these up it's just plates and plates and more plates all right cool okay so here goes fluid pipes um, Tell me we get more for a quest reward. We got some red dye. Uh, and maybe we'll get more in this loot bag. We got coal. Eh, coal's not bad. Coal is not bad. So we've got a few of these now. Um, I know I'm going to want more once we get fully set up. But this should get us the... Macerator. Which is very nice. Now we can crush all with that, actually, temporarily. Temporarily, I don't have an axe because I keep vein mining trees, or excavating trees. Uh, but let's get one just for being able to break stuff easy. Okay, and we should. Right, we can't just put it in, so luckily I've made a tank. Uh, we can't plonk it there because this thing auto outputs steam. Which is nice, but um, not what we really want at this very second. We can set this to extract. You now have some of that. No, you don't burn just coal ore. I didn't really think it did. I was just checking. Uh, we'll grab some lignite coal. And hey, you'll be producing steam, which will be... Oh, right, the temperature has to get up. Okay, now you should be producing steam. There we go. Starting to get some steam in our macerator. And now if we want to process, like, our iron, we just chuck it in there. And I think it's slightly better rates in the macerator. It's a 50% chance... Yeah, and then if you're crushing it, it's guaranteed, but three becomes four, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird ratio. It's a weird ratio, but that's going to be much better than what we're doing. And we can fuel this on wood, because we have an abundance of wood. Which, actually... How are our new wood supplies going? Oh, yeah. Now we get cocoa beans, too. Yeah, we should be good. We should be good. And still making plenty of white mangrove. Alright, so we've got a couple more machines to get. Um, so we've got the macerator, the furnace, that's pretty straightforward, that just smelts stuff. Some more of those bricks. Water pump, uh, lets you pump water in so you don't have to do it manually. Uh, lower priority at this stage, but we will want one. And the compressor is for uh, making plates so you don't have to use the hammer. And actually, I am missing the cutting machine. Which needs a diamond, so we're not going to be able to make it just yet. 
And actually, I think that requires lubricant. Which we would have to make in a mixer. Which needs all that. Okay, so we're not going to do the cutting machine just yet. That's a little bit further than I'm wanting to go today. Um, we just want to get some ore processing going. So I'll whip these up. These are pretty straightforward. Bit of iron, but that's, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, so we now have, I think we now have, we now have the stuff to make the bronze compressor, which is awesome. We'll plonk it there since it's touching the side of this. It'll get steam, and then if we want to, we can get plates like this, which is going to be very, very handy. Uh, we can start using pipes to pipe out steam. It's not too big of a deal, but this is kind of... Aside from that cutting machine, which I now realize requires the lubricant, so we're not going to do it today. Um, we could make the water pump. I'll probably work that up anyway. Uh, but I think, once I tidy up my inventory, it's going to be time uh, to, to get rid of this. To get rid of this and chuck it over in a brand new barn, which is going to go here. It's kind of going to be our all processing barn. Um, I really need to light up underneath here. I might do that as well. I think we've got... We don't really have torches. Uh, but I am processing a whole bunch of coal, although I think the coal dust you end up with can't be used to craft torches. It cannot. That's okay. We'll use it for fuel, potentially. We'll use it for something. We can make steel. Uh, we could do a uh, tech reborn. Yeah. All right, time to build a barn. Uh, there's a bit of terraforming to do. A fair bit of terraforming to do. Um, but I think it's going to be a nice addition. Hopefully, once this is built, the roof starts to oxidize more. It's it's getting there. Look, it's like three bits. But all right, enough of that. Let's get to building the ore barn. And the sun is setting on our brand new barn and the crops have grown, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. Gotta have to sleep, but uh, yep, so here it is. Uh, there was actually one other type of plank I was using in the design that I don't have enough emeralds to get and I didn't want to go journeying for. So this is supposed to be a little bit of a rundown barn. So kind of keeping with the theme of uh, what we got going on with the farmhouse that is slowly oxidizing. Uh, we've kind of got like a compost area. I was just trying to put something here. Uh, just a little bit of a lean to. Yeah, and it's 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 a barn. And we're gonna chuck our ore processing stuff back here, which is why there's, there's kind of this gap in the floor. But um, before mob spawn, we should probably have a sleep. Oh, and this is supposed to be like a, a door that slides across. Like you imagine this rolling across and yeah. I don't know, just kind of trying to fill in the area. A little bit blank here, but yeah, maybe we'll put a tree there or something. So, uh, yeah, inside there should be enough room to set stuff up here. Um, I'm actually going to modify what I had started with because I think... Uh, let's get these things set up for us. To <laughs> I was going to say I think we can fit barrels on the floor, but... Um, Right, so we're going to have water here, I think. Water can go there, and then we can pipe out. We're actually going to need probably some more fluid pipes uh, to get this to work, but that's okay. We will work with what we've got. I haven't made a wrench yet, so it's going to be a little bit of a pain to deal with. So this is our output. And yeah, I mean, we did just set this up before, so I probably don't need to go through it all again. Um, 
you know, we're going to need different coloured pipes. Yeah, the the reason you want to colour them, if you haven't played around with modern industrialization before, is the colour of the pipe is kind of how you run multiple in the same area. So because these are different colours, we can now do this. Um, and then this is going to go to all our machines. And actually, I think we're going to have enough. Uh, we can set the output of these machines to be at the top. Uh, and then my plan was just to check these chests here. And then you can kind of reach <laughs> to the barrels at the back. Um, so for example, this is the macerator. We chuck ores in here. Um, ores will start going into this guy, getting processed. And in our furnace, we will start checking in dusts. Uh, to be honest, we probably don't want to do that. Ah, uh, we'll process it all in ingots now. That'll be fine. Uh, and then eventually we'll get item pipes and... Uh, well, this is finished now. Uh, and then it'll end up in these barrels, which will be cool. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of ugly. This is kind of ugly. We could make a tank. And so I think this will probably about finish us off. This can be like a buffer of steam. And then we can just extract. Extract only. And then that'll keep that'll keep steam kind of getting buffered. We might be using it all. No, we're just kind of slowly filling the machines. And yeah, ending up with uh, stuff to be processed. Actually, we can auto extract. Oh, that's why I never did barrels in my design because we go out the top. So it would actually be nicer to come down the bottom of this because uh, it's a little bit of a pain to get to the barrels, but this is actually going to do everything we want. So ingots end up in there, uh, plates and stuff will end up in there, kind of, kind of not really. Neat. But hey, we have our ore processing barn, we have some farms growing in the background, uh, the base is progressing and slowly oxidizing, which is pretty cool. But alright, it's been classic stuff, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.